Good evening and welcome to our new video lesson about seismic software present ST 2 d At this lesson, uh, I will tell you about new options for grouping and sorting we added recently. It can make your work much more comfortable and quick in operations. So let's start. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say that I uh, added uh, uh, these options after faced a lot of downfall data that this uh, needs uh, to uh, change file configuration and uh, I added some options but this is sorting and grouping options it's not necessary anymore so for example i have this data set of downfall data about 40 files and it's every file contains only for channel one for trigger and three for components so it's not so comfortable comfortable to work with so many small shots so we need to regroup these traces and for this purpose we have this option group and sort there is a lot of uh, different uh, options uh, but i will start with simple one here is four channels and we would like to have four shots at the end so uh, I will choose uh, this first option, one, two, three, one, two, three. If I have uh, a data where is uh, all traces uh, in one files and it's not split it correctly to the shot, I should use second options and choose number, number of channels for every shot. So it suggested me to save this layout. Now I have this four shots and it's much easier to process, especially when we will have uh, some pre-processing for this data. So it's much easier to work with geometry. So for example, now I have all shots with correct coordinates. Okay. Let's continue with another project. I already showed it, it many times. This is a uh, land seismic, land near surface seismic. And we will uh, see how to plot all shots together. There's another option of so grouping. So I will use this option roll up. It will show all plot, all shots together. Of course, I can uh, select window and move along this long shot with mouse or with key or with this uh, small yellow arrows. So all operations like picking or after picking or smoothing work in the same way for this. Sometimes it's much more interesting to see in this mode. So we can see, we can, we can compare uh, neighbor shots and uh, 
make the right decision, decision about picking. So all uh, traces now in this table, it's a lot of traces and it can be seen here, number of shot and number of trace. And of course, you know, all these things shows which file is used here. So I can, for example, apply after picking. And I will uh, remove now it's after picked it's after picked only for this window as you see so if I want to pick all it's going to be here now you can see it's only one shot because it's a long shot and it's only one travel time for the but of course split and here is just one shot in this mode we can't uh, apply such procedures like uh, summing or subtracting of shots and many uh, functions doesn't work so you should uh, to use it you should get back to uh, normal shots splitting it's very easy you can go back to uh, these options and use gather or original original will show you uh, original layout of shots uh, gather will uh, show you sorted shots uh, but for this example, it has the same result because it's already sorted. So now we can see original uh, layout. And now I would like to show you uh, how it's a synchronization work uh, between all this stuff. Let's go again to long shot. Now you can see that if you click on some uh, trace, it will be shown in, in the table. It also can be uh, highlighted by selected color here. And back to the table, it's work in the same way. Also, if we go to uh, array layout with all receivers and sources positions, they also can select it and it will be changed in table. And also in the uh, this travel time corvus, this uh, rectangular point uh, is active trace. So this is synchronization. Also, I would like to show you our new window, which can improve uh, picking because it can show you a zoomed part near also and especially if you work for example in this mode it's very good 
to see how all signals looks like, but it's not so good for picking. But in this mode, for example, can repeat data with better accuracy. And of course, I can change scales. You see, it's much better. Oh, this thing can be very useful. It's a picking process. Next options. Uh, they have added also recently is, let's go back again. Oh, I, I would like to show you that uh, some options like reference velocity work in all modes correctly. For example, I choose sound wave. And it will be shown on all shots. But it's not only uh, this velocity we can upload here. We can, for example, uh, find reference velocity for all these uh, shown plots. set 1d projection and now we can project it all from this window or we can just plot it here it's will be shown for this 1d so it's not just constant velocity but it's it's one d solution this window they can apply it here again okay next project i will show you is about cross ball pole and it's also support all this functional and i would like to show you another options for grouping for example we have here a swap as our options it's just make reciprocity so it's a uh, replace sources by receivers and receivers to sources so sometimes it can be very helpful in picking data so some data are better correlated in this way of course it can be applied to the land seismic also but it's much more interesting to show for the cross hole. So all procedures like after picking or smoothing will work independently for this mode. So if we do after picking for normal, uh, so normal layout uh, and for uh, this reciprocity uh, layout, this is this will be different results. So it's benefit because we can compare with different pickings, or we can improve it, or we can average. I'll show you it a little later. So next one is C O P. It's uh, 
layout where every shot contained constant offset. So now it also can be useful. It's of course a travel time for us has different uh, way of plotting. So it also can be picked and smoothed independently. And I'll show you these options. Also, we add everywhere these hints because sometimes it's very important to know which trace, what is it. Because it's not normal uh, shots, and we need to know what exactly every point, every pix goes from. Now we added some options for. Uh, buffer. Here we can uh, use for five different pickings and for example average it after to get some good, good start approximation for normal picking for handmade picking. Okay, here I have some CRP and first of all I had one first picking. I will copy it to buffer. Next, I'll do after picking for this mod. You can see how it looks like. Okay, also I can do picking for example for uh, original I already had, so I should make it reciprocity. Uh, it should be here, and also I'll do picking again. And say to do through. And I can add one more. Case, for example, I'll do some central point. I'll do one D projection. And now I'll apply it to all. And also up to buffer. And now I have four different pickings. Uh, it's all automatic. Uh, I didn't make any uh, hand, hand job. So I'll average it to have a first approximation for picking. No, so it's not so bad and needs just some changings. Of course, we can smooth it again after it. And we can use this uh, trail time for us as reference again for automatic picking and repeat this process. So maybe after two, three iteration, we, we, we can get automatically uh, back 
better results or we can do just regular picking. Thank you very much for your attention. And I just finished for today. See you.